But what's keeping us warm today is the Teradek Bolt wireless HD transmission system. So let's check it out. What does this unit consist of? Well, you've got a transmitter right here on top of our PMW EX3, and you've got a receiver over here, which gives you, there's your receiver. It's pretty small. It's uh, AC powered, up to dual link. You can take one, uh, you know, just HDSDI or dual link HDSDI 3G signals, uncompressed transfer from the transmitter to the receiver. Pretty good stuff. What's the range like? It's about 150 feet. We've got a clip to show you exactly how far it'll go. But you might be saying to yourself, you know, I've never trusted wireless high definition video signals before. Why should I trust them now? So I called up John Landman, the VP of sales over at Teradek, and he said that people are using the Teradek Bolt wireless HD system mainly in three areas. And the first is a big one, Steadicam. So if you're a Steadicam operator, or perhaps you're just starting out with your Steadicam, and you've got a director or a producer that wants to watch your shot, and you need a way to get there without tripping over the cables, we highly recommend the Teradek Bolt system for you. The second reason people are using Teradek Bolt wireless transmission systems is to get to a switcher. So say you're doing a concert and you just can't run a cable through the crowd to the front of house, cam uh, front of house camera. So this is another good uh, opportunity to transfer latency free, uncompressed high definition from the HDSDI out port of your camera to the HDSDI in port of your switcher or whatever recording device you happen to be using on the, on the concert. Now, we're, we're still on two of three, okay? Um, but I wanna just talk about this for a second because there's a, there's a really cool feature behind the Teradek Bolt system. Now, it comes either in SDI or in HDMI flavor. So I asked John Landman, can I mix and match HDMI to HDSDI? And he said yes, but why would I wanna do that? Now, a lot of you out there are starting to use the GoPro HD Black Heroes on your concert recordings, on your multi-camera recordings, but you're having a lot of trouble getting your, your uh, HDMI GoPro into your HDSDI TriCaster. Well, here's a perfect solution. Number one, the HDMI transmitter will work with an HDSDI receiver. So you've knocked out two birds with one stone. The first bird, how are you gonna connect a long HDMI cable from your GoPro to your switcher? And number two, how are you gonna convert from HDMI, you know, sort of consumer stuff, black magic stuff, to SDI, the big boy stuff, the real professional switcher stuff, like a TriCaster, or perhaps a Panasonic AVHS 410, something like that. So again, if you wanna use a GoPro camera and mix it into your live HD switch, I highly recommend getting an HDMI transmitter, an HDSDI receiver, and get the whole system done in one transmission hop. It's pretty sweet. If you're within that 150 foot sweet spot, line of sight from the transmitter to the receiver, a great way to connect your GoPro to your to your big boy switchers, all right? And so that was two of three. What's number three of three? Transmitting from your camera to Video Village. So remember, this is an uncompressed signal. If you are on, uh, on location where you've kind of got the, the area confined and you've got things under control, you can keep line of sight between your transmitter and your receiver, you can actually utilize the, uh, the uncompressed HD signal from the transmitter to the receiver. And I asked John to give me an example because like I say, up until now, it's been difficult to trust HDSDI transmission wirelessly. Maybe there's too much latency, maybe there's too much compression, but the Bolt claims to have zero latency and an uncompressed signal. So I said, give me an example, and, and uh, John said, well, have you watched Dexter? I said, yeah, I'm a big fan of Dexter. He says, well, using the Alexa XT, they're sending uncompressed HDSDI signal from the camera to Video Village where they're actually using that wireless transmission, that uncompressed signal as the true record signal. They're, they're of course also recording a backup on the S by S cards or whatever it is in the Alexa, but the honest to goodness A recording is from this wireless transmission to their Video Village. Pretty impressive. I, I, I think that Dexter is a, is a good role model for us to sort of live up to in terms of production value. So you might be saying to yourself, well, that's great, but you know, I, I, I know I need a transmitter, I know I need a receiver, well, what else do I need? Luckily, Teradek packages everything you need right into the kits for you. So what might you need? Well, take a look at this camera over here. You'll see, coming out of the back of this Teradek Bolt transmitter, we've got a power cable and an SDI cable. And in the box from Teradek, we get this nice 90 degree HDSDI coiled cable that, con that connects right to the SDI output of my EX3 or whatever camera you happen to be using. You'll notice I've got an Anton Bauer battery in the back here because also included in the package with the Teradek Bolt is this PTAP to LIMO connector. So they want you to connect with a two pin LIMO connector, no problem. They package with the box a cable that's gonna take care of that for you. 
Uh, I'm just going to spin this around because you know we love sexy blue LED lights on the <laughs> dot video show here. The cloud one lets you know that you've got your link. The video one lets you know that you've got a video signal. So once all your LEDs are lit, you're golden. Now, there are two different models of the Bolt. There's the Bolt and the Bolt Pro. So we're operating on a Bolt here. What does the Bolt Pro add that this does not have? Well, let's go back to one for a second. You'll notice that this little jack is blacked out. So here's my SDI in, but on the Bolt Pro, that'll be an SDI out. That's a loop through. Very handy if you need to use a viewfinder or some other you know, SDI output device for your camera operator here. Additionally, what the Bolt Pro brings is a battery that you can charge up and let it run, and it'll operate for about 60 minutes. Now, is 60 minutes good enough for an entire production? Maybe not. But what you do want to consider is you might have to change batteries on your camera in the middle of a show, right? Now, it takes a minute for the transmitter and the receiver to hook up. In fact, in a second, we're going to switch over to this EX3 and show you what it looks like when, the, uh, when, you, when you do lose power on the Bolt. So the point being, you always want to power your Bolt from the PTAP, even if you have a Bolt Pro with an internal battery. What that internal battery is going to do for you is it's going to keep the wireless link between your transmitter and your receiver even when your camera loses power so that while you're waiting for your camera to turn on, you don't then also have to wait for your transmitter and your receiver to reestablish a link. So, Verge, can you give us a, like a two up or something on, yeah, yeah, almost. There we are. Okay, so here's my EX3. That's my wireless transmission. Here's uh, obviously our studio cameras. So I just want to show you what it's going to look like if I were to remove power from my bolt. Okay, so we lost image there. Now I'm just going to plug this back in. So now we're in, and I want to just give you an opportunity to see how long it might take to reestablish that connection. So might have to fill some time here. <laughs> what the what's going? Ah, there we are. So that wasn't that wasn't terrible. Absolutely not too bad. But if you do want to have you know, all your redundancy, all your backups in place, make sure you get a Bolt Pro so that you've got a battery backup. You can go ahead and mess with the camera power without affecting the link between your transmitter and your receiver. Let's join me over here. We've got a question coming in from the internet. With 3G, 2K, 4K, or 3D signals? That is a fantastic question. Annalise Gonzalez watching all the way from Guatemala. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We appreciate it. Um, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. So this unit will handle a 3G SDI connection. So 3G is going to be good definitely for 2K. I'm going to have to double check with our friends from Teradek about the 4K question. But at the very least, you can get four of these units and bundle them and use one unit per quad, per quadrant of your 4K image. So um, definitely yes on the HD SDI. Very likely yes on the 2K because you're putting 3G through it. Even possible. It's possible that you could do uh, two of these together with two 3G connections to get that 4K image. So um, on the one hand, yes. On the second hand, it's going to require a little more research. Thanks for your question. All right. Another question you might be asking yourself is, how much does this Bolt cost? Great question. I'm glad you asked. We've got a couple different models, all right? So you, you might remember that we could mix and match HDMI to SDI. So the Bolt HDMI to SDI for your GoPro to TriCaster connection, that's $1,790, 1790 bucks. Um, for another $300, you get the Bolt Pro version. That's the transmitter that has not only the looping output, but also the battery. So the Bolt Pro is $2090. If you want to keep it pure SDI, if you don't want to mix and match, then a, a Bolt is $1890, so $100 more than the mix and match version. And a Bolt Pro pure SDI, that's $2190. So another $300 to go Pro. And again, the Pro gives you your looping output and your internal battery that you can utilize to maintain your connection even when the camera loses power. So that's the Teradek Bolt. It's wireless HD SDI. But you might be asking yourself, Jesse, what is the range on this unit? And I'm glad you've asked. In fact, my friends Nick, Gustavo, Verge, and I were hanging out at Midtown Video earlier today. And we said, what if they're going to ask us how far you can transmit and receive? And to answer that question, please enjoy this clip. Welcome, everybody, to the JTown.TV Teradek Bolt Distance Check. We're going to show you how far you can transmit wireless HD SDI using this awesome Teradek Bolt HD SDI wireless transmitter. You'll notice that it includes that coiled BNC cable to reach your BNC output on your camera. Also very important, it includes this uh, Anton Bauer PTAP to two-pin Limo connector in order to power the device. Now, over here on my left, 
you'll see the Teradek Bolt HD-SDI wireless receiver. Remember, you can mix and match HDMI and SDI to stunning results. We'll get to that a little bit later. But what we're going to do today is take this awesome Teradek Bolt HD-SDI wireless transmitter and see how far we can get before we lose signal. It's the will it shred test. So join me this way. Um, you'll notice on our monitor, you do have the signal from camera extraordinaire Nick Porteous. Not pictured is DP extraordinaire Gustavo Acosta, who helps us out from time to time on our JTown.TV segments. So um, hopefully you've still got that monitor in sight. The monitor is showing Nick's camera, and we're kind of getting far now. This is about front of house on a camera uh, uh, on a concert, right? So this is your 100 yards from the stage, 100 feet from the stage. But sometimes people say, I need to go even further on my HD SDI wireless hops. Maybe you want to go all the way to the back of the house. So um, I imagine the signal is still good. Otherwise, Gustavo would be jumping up and down saying, wait, wait, we lost signal. So sorry for all the backlighting. It's an incredibly sunny winter day here in, uh, in Miami, Florida. It's about 65 degrees, almost so cold we've got to put on our light sweaters, but not quite yet. How are we doing? Pretty good? We've still got, uh, we've still got HDSDI wireless signal coming in pretty strong? I think so. My producer and technical director, Verge, is saying yes so far. Uh, doing everything I can to not hit a car walking backwards. Do we still have signal? I'd say we're a good 150 feet away here. Keep in mind you want to be line of sight between your transmitter and your receiver. Uh, something's going on. <laughs> I think we still have signal. Do we is it still shredding? Wrap it up. We're about done here. Uh, why don't you turn around and show them just how far away you are? That is outstanding. Awesome. Hey, Verge. All right, so that's how far away you can be with the transmitter and the receiver. Notice our Sennheiser wireless microphone audio was cutting out even before the HDSDI link between the Teradek Bolt transmitter and receiver were cutting out. I think that's very impressive. So once again, up until now, I was terrified to use Wireless HD transmission now, not so terrified. Teradek Bolt, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.